So it's 12, 18 a.m. I'm at work because I guess my relief shift just doesn't give a shit today. So since I've got nothing better to do, I thought I'd discuss what happened in the truck race today, which was basically nothing important. Um, so once again, another completely and utterly meaningless win by King Leech himself. None other than King Leech, number one in no one's hearts, number one in the stat book, number like 69 in everyone's hearts. It's, um, he just gets to pad his stats with yet another utterly meaningless nothing win. Has absolutely no reason to even be in the series at all. And yet I still see people on Twitter like, oh, but if he didn't run the races, then his team wouldn't exist. And it's like, good. His team shouldn't exist at this point. Because his team existing is the reason why the series itself is faltering. Did you notice how last week at Kansas, right? That was last week. I don't even remember. Was one of the best races all season in all three series. And isn't it strange that that took place in a race that Kyle Busch wasn't in? Did you notice that how tonight, I guess technically last night at this point, even though it currently is the night, you know the point that I'm trying to make, that there were amazing moves at the start of the race, there was a three-wide move in the first corner that led to, I think, the fifth-place starter leading lap one. The lead changed hands at least twice. Three times if you count him being side-by-side -side at the start. In the first lap, as, as you do, and then Bush got the lead, and then nothing happened. Then a caution came out, and it jumbled up strategy, kind of. So that was a nice moment. But then after that, you know, the stage ended and then Bush got the lead and then nothing happened. And then the final stage occurred and then there was a weird caution that caused some of the field to pit and then some of the field didn't pit. And on one of those restarts, there was uh, there was like two double wide for the lead for like two laps straight. And then Sauter made a three wide move on the outside to take the lead. That was pretty good. And then Bush got the lead and the race was over. I don't know how many times I have to make this video before just throwing the phone against the wall and then just pretending like nothing even happened. I mean, I really wouldn't even be making this video right now if I didn't have anything better to do, you know. Unfortunately, I don't. Unfortunately, I only have the company of this toilet paper. That's all I've got. That's all I've got. All I got is the company of this toilet paper. So, which, um, actually, this toilet paper will clean up less shit in its lifetime than if they tried to wipe the track after that race because it just left nothing but shit all over the track because, you know, the racing's fantastic in the truck series when Bush isn't there and, that, and there's no coincidence. There's no coincidence about it. You just, you put even a good driver, you, you put even a, you put Paul Menard in that truck, he will win championships. You put Paul Menard in the Rudy Fugel KBM truck, I guarantee you he'd win the championship under the old points format. Nothing's a guarantee with this shitty, stupid ass, winner take all, four for all, fatal four way, that's what they should call it. They should get WWE in to license their stupid championship race because it's dumb. It makes about as much sense as crowning a champion between six random guys that you throw in a cage. It makes just about as much sense, but, you know, that's literally every video on this channel is reasons why the chase sucks. So, I won't try and drag this down video this video down too much with just that. The point that I'm trying to make is that there's no reason for Bush to run these races. Absolutely none. And I get into Twitter arguments about this all the time is that, well, well, the tree wouldn't exist if it wasn't for his money that he brings as a leech. And you want to know why? You want to know why that is? Because all he did was leech the, his entire career. And now, if you're a small name driver, you ain't going to get sponsors. Why would a sponsor pick up a random bitch that has never seen the light of day? When they could just have Kyle Busch and have a guaranteed win. Why would they go with the younger driver? 
who's going to, you know, for all they know, putt putt around in 15th and be completely irrelevant? Or do they pick the guy that's almost guaranteed to win the race? You tell me, business people of, of, of YouTube, you tell me, which would you rather have? And then, and then you get people who say that, like, the, I don't know, I don't, I, I, I would, I would look it up specifically. I would read this verbatim to you because it's just that stupid. But unfortunately, I'm using the phone to record the video right now, so I can't really do that, can I? But someone tweeted me and said that I was like saying that I was having a conversation with some guy, and he's like, you know, like. Kyle's doing a poor job of de developing talent um, because they run 10th while he wins every week because he gets the best crew chief in the garage for every race, like I've been saying since the start of the season. And then that guy was like, yeah, he's not doing a very good job of developing his talent then. And then someone responds to both of us saying, oh, it's his name in... It's something to do with, like, the name's Kyle Busch Motorsports, and it's like, It's not his job to develop talent. Look at the name of the team. And it's like, There it is, isn't it? There it is. That's the reason why the team exists, isn't it? It's not to develop talent, as everyone says every single day of the week, every single time that I make this goddamn video, every single time that I make this video when they say, But the team, if, if KBM didn't exist, as if his dad doesn't literally co-own a team in the same series. But where would he receive Burton go? As if his last name isn't going to let him go anywhere else. But yeah, then you literally get people saying, Well, it's Kyle Busch Motorsports, isn't it? And it's like, yeah, it is. And you just proved my point. Congratulations. I have to do, a, I have to do an arm clap because I'm holding the camera. Congratulations, you just proved my point. I've been on I've been on the internet for I've been making videos for six and a half years, and you made my point better than I ever have. Just like that. And yet people are gonna say in the comments, Oh, you're just salty. It's like fuck off. First of all, get a different phrase, get a different saying. You just regurgitate your shit every single week, the same thing over and over, just like whenever Bush is in a truck race. It's the same shit over and over. You know, it's just a broken record at this point. It's just the guaranteed outcome. It's just insanity is defined as doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different outcome. It's just that at this point. So first of all, fucking get something original. Fucking use the two brain cells that you have left. Maybe they can commune. And kind of toss ideas against each other to see if they can think of something that hasn't been said for the 800,000th time ever, you know. Just, maybe just, just give your, just give your brain a little bit of time to just, you know, think of something. They'll, they'll get those, uh, get those wheels turning, alright? Get those wheels turning. And second of all, you prove my point. Please shut the fuck up and go away. So, yeah, um, basically what I'm trying to say is that, um... I didn't get what I wanted, though. I did not get what I wanted. Actually, I kind of did get what I wanted, but not the worded the way that I wanted it to. What I wanted to hear someone say is that they that they that they think that the uh, limiting of leeches in these races is bad for the sport. And I almost got someone who said that. I was that close, just an ass hair away from the greatest statement to ever be put out on the internet. The most nuclear racing take to ever exist. It, we were that close, guys. It's just, it just got ripped away from us at the last second, just like Craig, Craig Wickham's NASCAR career. <laughs> but yeah, um, the point that I'm trying to make is that, um, there's always, um, is that I'm just waiting for the day that someone actually says that um, limits on leeches is bad because literally the opposite is the case. And um, 
if anything this season proves that the uh, uh, limits need to be increased. And if I, I, I doubt that Bush is actually, you know, going to be a man and actually take his team and shut it down if he's not allowed to run the truck series. Call his fucking bluff, NASCAR. He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. First of all, he loves that Toyota money. Second of all, Toyota would just find a different team even if he did. And Toyota won't like that if they have to do that. And y'all ain't going to like that if they do, because I can think of a couple of places that those Toyota dollars can go. Just leave you with that thought.